we are the ones being targeted. But the perpetrators are not East Indian. The urban youth, the miscreants of the corridor. Amid the backlash, Pandit Satyanand Maharaj is receiving for this statement he made about criminality in Arangwes yesterday. He is standing by it, saying just this morning another pundit was robbed of a large sum of money in El Sikoro. In a press release, he says the criminal struck again and described the robbers as three afro trinbagonian men. He said the most troubling thing is that so many people are ready to label him as racist when the truth is as glaring as the daylight. But member of the Emancipation Support Committee, Shabaka Kambon, condemned the Maharaja's statements and described them as irresponsible. We see them as calculated, reckless incitement to racial hatred and violence. Kambon said the real problem is the inability to address the structural problems in society, specifically the structural racism that exists in this country. This, this type of response to that from someone who claims to be a holy man is deeply, deeply disturbing. It's why both the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha and the interreligious organization have distanced themselves from Maharaja's statements. Head of the IRO, Pandit Lloyd Mukram Surju, said Maharaj has no official evidence to prove his point, and the statements like these further divide the nation. Meanwhile, head of the SDMA, Vijay Maharaj, said home invasions have no color, and the entire country is under attack from criminals, not one specific race. These home murders, home invasions have taken place throughout the country, even in Tobago, for, uh, from what I gather. Um, so no one area is immune from criminality. You know, be it Pat Pinal, Valsain, Arangwe, San Grande, Felicity, San Augustine. Um, I, I don't think anybody is immune from it. He described the pundit statements as respecting and damaging to everyone. I usually relate that statement to politicians. I wouldn't think men of cloth, be you whatever religion, would make statements of that nature. CEO of the Catholic Education Board of Management, Sharon Mangru, said, now more than ever, all hands must come together to fight against crime. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.